Hello, everybody, and welcome to World of Outlaws Dirt Racing by Monster Games and iRacing. A big thanks to Thrustmaster for sponsoring this video with the Thrustmaster TX Racing Wheel Leather Edition you will see me using today. Let's just jump into the game so we can see what this is all about, and then we'll get into the options and my wheel settings and all sorts of things that I'm using today. But right here, choose your series. You have the 410 sprints, late models, 360 sprints, pro late models, 305 sprints, street stocks. Let's start off with the 410 sprints so I can show you just how crazy this can all be. So you have your custom paint right here, and then you have the other drivers right here. I'm not gonna say their names, I'm just gonna show you them really quickly so you can see who's in the 410 sprints. Uh, most of you will know who Casey Kane is, of course. Uh, Don Schatz, and then we got some others here as well. Brad Sweet, Brock, and then we have it back to the beginning. So. Let's go ahead and race with uh, Brad Sweet here. And check it out, we have official tracks. We have Bristol Motor Speedway, we have Cedar Lake Speedway, Dirt Track Charlotte, we have Eldora, Fairbury, Knoxville, Kokomo, Las Vegas, Port Royal, Texas, Volusia, Weed Sport, Williams Grove, and that is all we have for the actual official tracks, and then we have the Arrowwood, Baxterville, Circle Lake, Desert Rock, etc., etc. I'll show you all of these as well before we get back to Bristol Motor Speedway. And then Millstone, Norris, Old Mill, Prairie Creek, Prairie View, Rockberry, Roper Mountain. Just a lot of tracks in this game. Pretty crazy how many there are. Let's go into Eldora Speedway. I'll show you a really quick uh, what the quick race settings are right now, expert difficulty transmissions just set to automatic right now car identifiers off car shake effect very cool it no longer does that really crazy shaking on the inside view uh, you can turn that off wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact is at 15 AI difficulty expert full damage 30% and all flags so before we get started I do want to say this is only going to be on consoles this will not be a PC release I'm using an Xbox one series X today uh, for this video and we're gonna go ahead and just start the practice and I'll show you what it's all about. And here we are out on the track. You can see we can jump between different views, outside views uh, like that. Then we have this classic view here and then the one with the bars in it as our inside view and then a nose camera as well. I'm gonna use this view for the beginning here. I'm gonna shut up just so you can listen to the sounds of the game as we get out here into practice. are very good love the sounds all right let's move on to our qualifying session here and uh, of course you change out the car setup all you want here um, I liked it right where it was it was perfect for me um, I'm gonna go ahead and select that setup so while I'm in qualifying here I can say one of the biggest things you are going to notice right out of the gate with this game is oh my god the physics what a change that is. I have all the assists turned off, so this thing is an absolute handful. It took me a while to get used to it, but hey, we qualified 12th. We'll take it. Before we start heat number two, want to say happy Saturday to all of you. Hope you're having a great weekend. Let's do this. And here we go with heat two. The top two advance to the qualified dash. Good luck, everybody. All right, just like a normal monster game you're used to. Flying kind of start to this thing. You can hit the B button and you get all this information up here on the screen of what's going on with your car. And then you have the leaderboard uh, lap information and then hit it again, and then you have your leaderboard. And yes, you're noticing this thing is running at a beautiful 60 frames per second. One lap to go and try to throw a slide job on him up right up here. Oh my God, almost 
Almost bought the farm doing it. <laughs> yeah, he got the best of us there. That's okay, though. We'll take it. Fourth. All right, we made it to the A main, so let's do it. flies i gotta say these restarts are so intense uh before you can start getting your groove going you know what i mean so here we go so much fun man the physics are just so different than last game all right i'm going to show you some of the replay here this is the restart after that crash early on it we finished 20th in the a main okay that was a look at the 410 sprints but there are world of outlaws late models but i want to show you something really cool in the pro late model section check it out they put me in the game big thanks to monster games and iRacing. uh it's an honor but they made this uh paint scheme and it looks so good 
I absolutely love it. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you're excited to race me out there on the track. I know uh, I'm just blown away every time I see myself in a video game. Hey, you'll also notice there's Tyler Hudson right there. But let's check out the World of Outlaws late models. And these are the different drivers in this series. If you're wondering who was in the game, here they all are. And uh, I think we're going to go with, let's go with um, Tanner English and the 81 car. Let's try something different here. I'm thinking let's go to Fairbury Speedway and see what that's like. All right, pole is a 10-7. Absolutely insane. But here are the late models out on the dirt. Okay, that's very different than what we just drove with the sprint cars, but we'll take 13th. All right, I'm going to show you some outside view action here. Let's take the green flag. We make a lot more contact with each other out in these cars rather than the sprint cars. <laughs> Slob job. <laughs> All right, I have to settle down on the wheel here so I can actually drive decent. Hey, we'll take fifth. my fault I'll take uh, full blame for that one got into him a little little there and spun him around you can see just how touchy it can be with the settings I have it at all right let's try again
we'll take seventh. I had to get up there on the cushion a little bit uh, to help out with the passing there towards the end of that race. We got a top 10 in the A main. I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest with you. We got one little incident there, but for the most part, we were pretty clean getting through there. The winner was Josh Richards. Now, I've driven every single one of these cars uh, in the game, and I can say each one of them drive totally different uh, than each other. There's nothing really carrying over between the World of Outlaws late models and the Pro late model. I think the Pro late model is way easier to drive, especially the 305 sprints. Uh, compared to like, you know, a 410. So really quick, I'll show you who's in the game here. We have the uh, street stocks. We got Tommy Bailey, Samantha, Robbie, Ricky, and we got Ned Hill, Vincent Jackson, Chase Jones, Kevin Murphy, Harry Nelson, Maddie Watkins, 305s. You got Fred, Garrett, Andrew, Ian, Greg, Doug, Ken, Cody, Kenny, Rowdy, Donnie, Dominic, Cassandra, Austin, Dylan Smith, Matthew Swift, Jake, Dustin, and there you go. So in the pro lates, you got Tyler Burgess, myself, Tyler Hudson, Jamie, Jamie Nicholson Jr., Zach Owen, Steve, Travis, Peyton, Maddie, Devin. 360 sprints, you got Alex, Brandon, Cody, Tyler, Hudson, uh, Blake, Cameron, Kyle, Steve, Tyler, Travis, Kendall. So for my final show, we're going to go ahead and drive this car because it's in the game uh, and it's my car. So I definitely want to do this. I say we go to Volusia Speedway Park in Florida. I think that will work out pretty good for us. It's a fast track here and we're about to take our flag here for the qualifying efforts. I'm going to run low on the bottom here to try to get as much speed off the corner as I can but I don't have a lot of time with some of these tracks and uh, it'll definitely show in our speed. It's so much easier to be smooth on the wheel during qualifying than it is, you know, during a race when your heart's pumping and you're trying not to run into somebody, but hey, P9, heat number one. Let's do this. Ready to go green? Yes, we are. Zach Owens and Jamie up there leading the race. The graphics are right there with, uh, you know, the SRX game we saw at a monster. But I really got to say the difference in this game is the feel. Um, these things are such a handful, and I was really hoping for that, especially with them, you know, teaming up with uh, iRacing. Oh my, hello, dude. I was really hoping, you know, we would get something like that, and it's not disappointing at all. Oh, there you go. A little payback there. <laughs> all right, we'll take fourth. some Jimi Hendrix style national anthem there. And here we go. A main, baby. 
Now Belugia under the lights. Close battle with Josh here. We're starting to get a little leeway on him. So yeah, car setup is gonna be a big deal uh, if you want to try to catch these fast guys on expert mode, they're fast. All right, we'll take P6, no problem. So let me know what you thought of World of Outlaws, the game, in the comments below. I got to say, there's a lot of things here I do like. Uh, the graphics, the physics are amazing. Um, that really is the big one here. Uh, for me little things i would love to see is an fov slider even on a console uh, i can see some people having issues with the fov that needs to be something um apart from that next time we're going to jump into the career mode and we'll get to see more of the game from that perspective but everything i see here so far is just nothing but improvements and that's something that monster games has done with every title they release it just improves 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 a huge thanks to them for allowing me access to this game early on and uh i had a lot of fun let's head to the main menu and i'll show you the options here we are at the main menu you see there's career mode you have career medals my cars my driver quick race championship split screen online multiplayer news feed and then uh, we have options so in the options under gameplay here's your difficulty presets you can have uh, transmission, car identifiers, shake effect, uh, wheel to wheel contact, just how much wheel to wheel contact disrupts your driving, AI difficulty. Um, they go all the way up to legend, but we were racing them on expert and you saw they were kicking our butts on uh, default setup. So damage, full damage, race length, you can change that. Flags, of course, you can change it between no flags, relaxed, or all. Going to driving preset is on expert, so I had no stability help, no driving assists, no wall avoidance, none of that. 
today. And the AI, you have the skill range, stability, uh, recovery skill, consistency, starting spread, incident frequency, impact forces, qualify difficulty, and AI cars in practice. So uh, some improvements here for sure. And then under the controls here, I was using the Thrustmaster TX Racing wheel today and I have my effect strength on 80 impact effects on centering spring off and then dead zones at zero now down here this is a big one it was super hard to control the car in the beginning uh it had everything to do with the steering range the lower the steering range is the more sensitive that thing is on the wheel it's like having you know a 360 degrees compared to a 900 and etc so steering range is what you'll want to play with there steering sensitivity I found 40 to be like right there where I like it Brake range and throttle range, I could probably reduce those and be happy. Um, I felt like the brakes were a little too much at 50, so I can always change that. Uh, P2 controls, display, the screen adjustments, um, audio, you have music, race music, a lot of great uh, songs in there uh, when I was listening to that, not for this video. Uh, Fine-tuning player car, AI car, skid and road noise, collision, announcer, crowd, ambient, and menu interface. And one thing I would do is turn the crowd all the way down and the announcer as well. Uh, so you have more of a authentic experience. Race format just teaches you how heat races work. You know, qualify dash, mains, career mode. Uh, we'll get into that in the next video. And then legal. That's pretty much it. All right, folks. That's going to do it for this episode of World of Outlaws Dirt Racing. Again, huge thanks to Monster, iRacing, Thrustmaster. All of you are awesome. I'll see you next time. Take care.